Me, Narut. We, the people. And in the summer of 1989, Poland decided to un undertake this tremendous transition. A thousand Bulgarians brave rain and snow in a southern Sofia park to cheer the news of the dramatic changes in Czechoslovakia. From the vantage point of the summer of 1989, nothing looked inevitable. The people's desire for democracy is strong, but the forces in power do not give up without a fight. It was very hard to uh, get agreement to go ahead with these reforms. Czechoslovakia opposition groups moved from the streets inside to the bargaining table. The reforms were so sweeping, nobody had ever turned a communist-style economic system into a capitalist system along with the creation of, of a democracy. I think that now it's time to, to break the wall down, you know. The economy was in such disrepair uh, with chronic excess demand, shortages, uh, hyperinflation, external debt beyond their capacity to repay, and uh, almost all of enterprise in state hands. Now, when we look at the situation today, and I think they've done amazingly well, they still have a long way to go, and you know, the IMF as a partner to these countries, and perhaps beginning with this conference, can be talking about the next 25 years. We owe uh, just a, a lot of admiration to those uh, in Poland and other Eastern European countries who uh, had the courage to embark on this.